Howdy YouTube, this is just a uh, short update on my uh, printer situation. I'm reorganizing my office right now because I was running all my printers on my primary desk here, uh, which can, it was getting tight and it's probably easier for me to move my workstation for work over to my desk and use this space uh, for both my my rigs and my, my work stuff. And then I'm gonna make use of my big desk table here for the printers. I'm in the middle of building a uh, ABS chamber for the uh, Ender 3 S1 Pro. I've ordered some uh, ventilation ducts. I'm going to run off the side out my window and I'm going to end up using a uh, actually a grow a, a grow fil fan. It's like an inline fan that uh, you can use to uh, to help ventilate out and, uh, and it's got a, uh, carbon, a carbon filter on it and a HEPA filter on it. Um, and that'll run out that window through a vent, an adjustable vent uh, at the base of the window uh, so I can keep the ABS fumes out of here. I'm just in the middle of mocking this up right now. This is just standard Coroplast. I am gonna have some extra just air venting also going into those tubes to help um, because it doesn't, you know, these things I'm not sure how they're gonna last. I'm gonna find out. People use cardboard all the time so I figured this stuff might be not too bad. It's not going to be a full 200 degrees in there, I don't think. Um, the bigger thing is this room is always hot when I'm running both the 3D printers at the same time anyways. Um, I would say this room's probably somewhere in the realm of about 83 to 85 degrees when they're both running. And the screens and the lights. So um, I think it'll be more than warm enough. The big thing is keeping the, uh, the, the cooler uh, drafts from hitting it. So... I am going to be doing some ABS temp print, uh, test prints soon anyways, uh, just to test test how it is uh, without um, without the venting and I'm not I'm not going to run it full time, I'm just going to do a very small print uh, just so I can see how it handles it. Uh, I haven't printed ABS on this unit yet, um, but I'm going to give it a shot. I've removed the side bracket that holds this on and I have a USB-C extension cable I'm going to add to it so I can bring this outside of the box. Uh, and put it here or I'll print a mount for the side right here. Just some sort of deck or something to keep the controller outside of it. And uh, all I'm going to do for a window is I'm going to use some more, another sheet in the front. I'm going to do two 5 inch bevels off the front because it's got more than enough room. Then I'm going to create a simple panel. And I'm just going to use um, uh, two sheets of um, laminate. Uh, that you would do, use to laminate uh, documents uh, because if you take them and you heat them up with nothing in the middle they're pretty thick and I'm just going to cut out a section and create a window for it and uh, that's that's how I'm going to use it to view what's going on without disturbing the prints. Uh, I'm going to be starting to do my Voron part soon. And I've got all my filament ready for those prints and that's pretty much it. That's all I got going on right now. Nothing big. Uh, I ended up buying another little Ender 2 Pro for a friend of mine's kid whose bar, uh, bar mitzvah is coming up on, uh, I think it's next Saturday. So uh, I'm going to be doing a build with them um, for their first 3D printer as well, which would be, which would be interesting. I've already got them some up updated parts to go with it. Uh, springs uh, for the bed and, and a Bowden tube. So get them started all the over here so you know, just to get them get them kind of up and going and uh, that's pretty much it that's what I've got going on um, I may end up getting another interim printer uh, before I start my war on builds because I think I'm gonna need another one uh, to get these parts printed out um, so I may either pick up another s1 pro or I may pick up the um, they're kind of so close to price, I'm not really too sure. Maybe an FL Sun, like a, you know, like a racer or something. Uh, something like some. I don't know if that'll do. Actually, I better I better look that up. I don't know if that can do uh, ABS, but um, if not, I'll just get another one of these. It's fine. Uh, it can print ABS all day long. So uh, I have done. Uh, well, yeah, actually, I did one little upgrade the other day. I went to nylon uh, bushings instead of springs on the bed, and that's actually been uh, really good. It's made leveling so much easier. There's very little adjustment needed 
um, and it's it's the bed stiffer with very little adjustment which is nice so I'm gonna uh, try some speed prints with that too and see how that goes um, other than that that's pretty much all I got for today hope everybody's doing well talk to you guys later bye